Hello, this is Cole with Cave Van. Um, a lot of people have asked for information on this van, and I want to make sure that um, we're clear on what this van is and what it isn't. So I figured the best way to do that would be to take a short video. Um, then that way anybody that's interested in it can take a look at it. Um, the first thing you need to know is this van, you know, this van was the third van that I ever bought. Um, and it was bought to be a test mule for a cave van. It was bought to experiment with, um, you know, paint finishes and products and lift kits and stereos and, you know, wood interior bits and, and all of that. You know, what it isn't is it is not one of our fully restored custom vans. Um, but it shares a lot of the same features. So, you know, it's basically a Euro van that's um, a little rough around the edges, um, but it runs well. You know, we just put a lot of new uh, mechanical bits into it, which anybody um, seeing this video um, already got the, the details on the, the, all the mechanical parts we put in it. And, you know, what you can see here is brand new tires and a, a freshly painted set of wheels, but, you know, they're not our, our high-end completely restored wheels and stuff like that. But they are the same wheels that we use. This van's got a lift kit on it. Um, it's an original Westphalia. This is not one of our pop-top conversions. Um, this is ceramic window tent on it, but, but basically I'm going to walk through and kind of show you the flaws of this van so that you can kind of see what it really is. Um, you know, cause you know, Instagram and other um, picture sources hide, hide some of that stuff. Um, what this van is though, is a really good deal on a Euro van. So, um, just a couple of refreshers on the details. Van's got about 245,000 miles on it. Um, the engine was rebuilt by the previous owner about 20,000 miles ago. We just put in a whole bunch of stuff. I'll probably forget most of it right now. Um, you know, a new coil, plugs, plug wires, new injectors, um, secondary air injection pump, all new brakes and rotors, um, brake pads and rotors, um, lots of fun stuff. So, so anyway, we'll take a closer look here and you can see what I mean. So, you know, we've got paint chips that are reflective of its mileage. And the color you're seeing here is it's raining here and this is wet. So um, I know taking this video in the rain isn't the ideal, but you'll, you'll get a pretty good idea of the, um, the whole bottom of this van is bedlined and color matched bedliner. Um, and these front fenders are brand new. We just put these on with new paint because they had a rust hole in them on both sides, you know, but like I said, this, this van's got little dents and dings and, you know, little rusty spots sticking out of things. And, you know, like I said, this, this van was a test mule. It doesn't have any disastrous rust on it. It's all surface type rust, but you know, the wear on it's basically um, what you'd expect for its mileage. So this was our very first piece of flooring that we put in. This is the stuff we sell on the website for 250 bucks for you to do it yourself. Um, you can see there's a ripple in it. The original glue we used um, didn't last very well in the heat. Um, easy enough to pull it back up, put on the glue that we use now. Um, just to give you guys some ideas, when we do a floor, um, it's about $1,200 to have a floor done. So. Um, just for reference. The seat bases in this van are both painted. The passenger side is lowered an inch and a half because it's got a swivel on it. Of course, of course we did upholstery on it. Um, we charge about 700 bucks a seat base to do that. So, you know, we also did the bed liner on the door handles. These windows are ceramic tent, not regular tent. It's a heat reduction tent. Um, we tested it in this van and saw temperatures of about 45 degrees cooler um, on the surfaces that were behind the tent versus areas where it wasn't. So it's a European dash cubby, a double din stereo. Uh, it's an Alpine ILX 007 that we put in there as a test. This van has um, carbon fiber um, seat heaters in it. And you can see that we didn't even bother to flush mount the um, controls in this van. We were just testing them. Um, we can flush mount them for you, make them look factory. That's the way we do it in, when we actually build the van. This van actually has a brand new steering wheel in it that we just put in with matching blue stitching. It has zero miles on the steering wheel. Um, I made it for this van a while back. 
and we just put it in here. Um, steering wheels are about 500 bucks when we make them. So this has a prototype set of curtains in it. This is actually um, this umbrella fabric, so it's intended to be out in the sun. Um, this is one of our first beetle kill pine upper roofs. This is just a piece of trim sticking down here. Um, this is real wood reclaimed from Colorado. Um, you know, when we do the upper bunk boards, they're about $1,500. We do them differently now, um, just because we got the price down by not doing them in this, this real wood finish, um, where there were actually boards going this way. You'll notice that all the um, high-end vans we do now, the boards, the grain goes this way. So, of course, a matching table that my puppy chewed on. So, um, notice that screen over there is um, dark. This is a puppy-resistant screen material. Um, again, let's walk around here and you, know, you got a little paint chip on the top. This roof does have Yakima roof tracks in it. The long ones, the longest ones you can get. Those tires are brand new, zero miles on them. The whole rear bumper and everything's bed line. It does have a trailer hitch on it. You know, you can see every kind of corner of this van's got a little wrinkle in it, a little scratch in it. Um, we stole the curtain rod out of this van, um, so we got to put a new curtain rod in it. It'll have a curtain rod in it shortly. But um, the rear bed supports are also color matched. You can see the flooring goes all the way back. You know, and just general you know, scuffs and scrapes and dings and. We were, we were trying stuff. We will, let's see, there's the mileage, 244, start it up. The airbag light uh, came on when we changed the steering wheel. We just need to clear the code, it should go away. Um, pop the hood here. There's that other brand new fender. Not a whole lot exciting to look at under there. But put the top up. in the door. You can see on these upper bunk boards that this is all color matched too. Front and rear. She's got a factory top on it. You know, obviously we could change anything or upgrade or modify anything on this van, you know, put on one of our um, three window tops, you know, modern top, things like that. Yeah. Um, and that's it in a nutshell. That's, you know, why this van is priced the way it is. Like I said, good running, good driving van. You know, let's see, new axle shafts, ball joints, tie rods. And we wanted to make sure that this is a good van for someone. Um, it just wasn't a van that we were going to fully restore like the other ones that we do. So if you have any questions, just send me an email, um, cole at kvan.com. If you want more detailed pictures of anything you saw here, I'd be happy to take them for you. So let me know.